And welcome back folks to another episode of Let's Play Sin. Last episode I shot people and I fulfilled none of my objectives. I actually forgot about most of them. So we have to I have to remember to destroy all those drums, not to shoot hostages. And to gain access to the tram, sky tram. What? The tram system. No, there's no sky tram in this game. That was the last let's play. My um, kingpin let's play. If you haven't seen it. Uh, and I'm cutting myself on the glass. I highly recommend it to you. And I have to... I'm out of ammunition. That's, that sucks. Um, I recommend it to you. It's also a shooter. Also a shooter that's based on the Quake 2 engine. Even though it's not quite true that this game is based on the Quake 2 engine as I elaborated in one of my earlier um, one of the earlier uh, I killed someone, didn't I? Episodes of this Let's Play. No, I did not. Or maybe I did. I don't know. One of the earlier episodes of this Let's Play I explained um, that Sin 2 uses actually um, an engine that was an in-house development and was based on the Quake 1 engine, but they incorporated the changes that were made to the Quake 1 engine in Quake 1 engine in the course of development of Quake 2. Yeah, um, remember that Quake 2 came out exactly in the same year as Sin. And if you've ever seen Sin, uh, uh, Quake 2, you will know, you will see that this game looks so the much better. The tram is locked out, JC. Is there anything you can do? Not from here. You need to get to the security room in damn topside and re-enable the tram. Hmm. Can't just break through this glass, no. Yeah, um... It's actually proper development of ritual entertainment. And it actually uses, if you look at the source code, which is available as the, 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 available somewhere on the internet, it uses C++ as a language, and not C like uh, the Quake 2 engine does. It's a pure, pure... The um, tram is locked out, JC. Is yeah. there anything you can do? Not you heard that? You need to get to the security room Quake and damn top side and re-enable the tram. Purely based on, uh, it's a purely witness C. Okay, there's nowhere to get, okay, there's, we're looking for a security room. Um, I think I, uh, I mean, do I, hmm. Uh, okay, let's see if I can try to use the inventory. Uh, okay, this should... Okay, I think I have a key card. Maybe, okay, maybe we can use one of those locked doors. I think this one needed a key card. Damn, damn. Nope. Then there was a door all over there. It needed a key card. I think. Uh, no, that was just this inactive elevator. We came through this door. There was one door which was locked by a keycard. 
But it was not the door, not down here, I think. And this just needs to here. Okay, let's see if we can open now this door uh, down below. I don't think we can. I think the door with the keycard was somewhere else. But well, let's try anyway. Yeah, this, as I already said several times, Sin 2 looks absolutely fantastic. The graphics are absolutely amazing. I think this is ridiculous. This is a ridiculous statement. Then you should see how Quake 2 looks like. And try to bear in mind that those two games came out in exactly the same year. For a game that came out in the exact same year that Quake 2 came out, this game looks absolutely fantastic. Even the sky is detailed and. Damn, the security door. Yeah. Ah, that was the door with the, with the key card lock. Okay, let's just wait for those three stooges to come up here. Hello. Come back and let me shoot you. This is unfair. You should not... You should not run away. That makes it much more difficult to hit you. Already got it. Thank you. Okay. Um, we've just picked up something. There's some health, which I don't need at the moment, but I Score. will destroy this crate and pick up this thing. If I don't know, I guess it's ammunition. And I need another key card, and this is a huge crate, which I can't crash or smash. Never mind. Damn, it's locked. This is locked too. Wait, do you have a keycard on you? Already got it. No. You do not have in fact the keycard on you. This is in fact still locked, but maybe I picked up a key Already got it. Already got without it. realizing it. Let's see if we can open this. Damn. This door, no. Let's see if we can open this door in the basement. Because I'm not sure if we've picked up a key. Maybe we have. But I have just been unobserved. No, we did not pick up a key. Okay, that means that I do not know where we should go. I will resist the temptation to just jump down there because this would be my certain death. Hmm. Okay, maybe. Hmm. I'm really curious. Hmm. The problem is. This room seemed to be completely useless, but if it's useless, then, well, wh what's the point if it's pointless? Uh, so this room seems to be absolutely pointless. There's nothing back here. There's something all the way over there. But I can't, I can't climb that, I guess. This door was locked. It appears to be locked. We have to find the security room. And oh my dear word, <coughs> am I completely unable to find anything here. Okay, we're back here. There was nothing 
Yeah, let's... For us to see here, this just needs back. Hey Blade, you just came from the sewers, man. No need to go back. And we can't go back, in fact. Okay, let's... Okay, at least let's check if I've uh, destroyed all those... All those drums. Yes, I think I have. And I've picked up those bananas. I can't open this door. Oh, I can't actually, but... This elevator is inoperable. Can't just climb down there. And this this plate is mysteriously just materializing into existence. Which is interesting. Uh, uh, I'm stuck. I am stuck. Ah, there was this door, which is also locked. Uh. Okay, let's see if I missed something here. No, that there was just this charm, which I could not access, get access to. Uh, yeah, this was, oh my god. I am so bad at remembering stuff, and I still no idea how you get up there even though clearly there's something which you could pick up there probably just some bananas probably just some bananas okay, let's double check damn it's locked if there's anything in this room maybe a crate which you can push maybe Ventilation shaft that's carefully hidden. No, it does not appear to be the case. Can I pick this up? Maybe I can shoot this. I can't shoot this, in fact, but this is of no help. And I just hurt myself. And I've made a small hole into the wall, which is again of no use. And I've hurt myself again. And I still need a keycard. Damn, it's locked. Uh, hmm. But I'm, I'm really stuck. Not just in real life, but also in this game. I am most definitely stuck. <laughs> Don't jump. Believe me, I won't. Okay. Maybe I actually have to climb on this ledge. But I don't think so, because it doesn't let me mental onto blade this. Down. I repeat, blade. Yeah, that's nicely said. Blade is down. Could have also have said that Blade just killed himself in the most stupid fashion imaginable. Okay, let's try to jump. Into the. Blade. Blade. Talk to me, man. I can't. You can't even uh, get to the water because you're dying by hitting some invisible wall. Okay. When we come back, folks, I will have hopefully figured out how to find the security room or find any of those keys or keycards or anything. So, until next time, folks, until then.